Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing It Days channel. Today we are going to start a new lesson series for year 2. This is going to be an advanced lesson series for year 2. So let's start by first creating a basic application template using the Composer. Next we are going to create our own JIT repository and update, upload our files to the repo. So let's get started. If you go to the definite guide given by E2, you will see the instructions on how to install Composer. I already have Composer in my local machine, so I'm not going to do that. Next, you have to run these two commands. You have to run Composer Global Require, the Composer Asset Plugin. So I'm going to run that in my terminal. Sites and paste the command. Okay, so that installed the Asset Plugin. Next, we need to install our application. So, Composer create project and paste that in our terminal. So, the name of my project is going to be doing it easy channel. Now, it's going to take a while to install. So, let's come back when once it is done. Okay, we have done installing the basic application template. Now we need to initialize this project as a JIT repository. So let's clear and run CD into the directory that we have created. So doing this channel is the name of our project. Go inside there and run JIT in it. This is going to initialize the empty JIT repository. Next we need to is add the files from our local system to the JIT repository. So first thing we need to do is update the JITIGNO file and ask it to remove the web assets directory because this web assets directory creates a um, lot of CSS JavaScript files that are needed for plugins and extensions. We don't want to add them to our JIT repository. So let's create a, update the JITIGNO file and remove that uh, directory. So go to jitigno file. As you can see, we have already ignored the vendor file. We want to ignore the web assets directory as well. So save and let's go to our terminal again. So let's run jit add everything. Okay, so next we need to run our first commit. Jit commit first commit. Okay, now we need to create our JIT repository. So let's go to our GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, do create one. Go to the repositories tab and click on name. So the name of my repository is doing this channel and I'm going to add a simple description and I'm going to click on create project. Next, it gives instructions on how to upload, push the local files to our origin master, which is the JIT repository. We have already run the JIT init command, so all we need to do is run these two commands. Copy them and go to your terminal and paste them. Now that is going to add all the local files to um, our JIT repository. So if you go check out the repository now, you will see all the files. Now let's change the readme uh, file for with our own. So let's go to our application and click on the readme.md file, remove them and I have created my own readme document. So let's do that and copy and paste, save. Next process thing we have to do is if you run JIT status, you can see that there is a modified uh, readme.markdown file. We need to add that. And I do want to add the Bubble RC and JTIGNO files as well. So let's add them man forcefully. So JIT add readme and JIT add with the flag of force because these files have been ignored. So I want force add them. So Bubble RC JIT add the JITNO file. Okay, now let's commit the message saying uh, updated readme file and jit push to complete okay that pushed off all the local files now let's go check our repository 
as you can see we have changed our Redmi MD file and we have completed our uh, JIT repository. Now let's go check out the application. So I have created a virtual host with the name of doing this channel. You might not have done that. If you don't have, if you haven't done that, you can go to localhost, localhost, and slash doing this channel web, which give you, which will give you the application. But I, since I have created a virtual host, I can simply type in doing this channel, and it works. Okay, so that is a simple workflow that you should follow when creating an application. So I hope this helped, uh, do stay tuned, do subscribe, do like, do share and let me know of what you think about this. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care.